We're going to take a really quick look at jigs and fixtures as we get into the milling machine unit. So we're going to first look at the definitions a, for jigs and fixtures. Uh, they're used to hold and guide work pieces and to accurately manufacture duplicate parts. Uh, but a jig is a device that holds and locates a piece of work and guides the tool. So a jig will hold the piece of work and it will guide the tool. Hold the piece of work, guide the tool. A fixture is something that is basically just used for holding the piece of work in place. So that's what a fixture is. It's designed for built and holding the work. So those are a couple of distinctions that you should note. Um, we use jigs and fixtures because it allows uh, mass production of consistent quality. Um, if the drill bit or a router is always using the same guide, then all the pieces are going to look identical. It also gives safety because it helps confine waste. So here's some common fixtures. Here's a little clamp that's clamping the board down. And here is a jig because it's this fence here and it guides the work so that would be more like a jig. Um, here's another picture of that clamp. And another clamp, so again this is a fixture because it's holding it in place. It's not really guiding the tool, it's not guiding the workpiece or the drilling tool, but it is holding it in place. And this is what we use on our milling machine. We have a clamp like this, um, so we use it as a fixture. And there are some other kinds of fixtures, like this one is a, um, a clamp that goes over the top. Or sorry, we're looking at this uh, a bigger piece here. This. So here's another kind of fixture. This one will clamp this piece together, but you can see that it sort of obstructs the outer edges here. So it would make it a little bit more difficult to, um, to mill. This is an aftermarket vice system for a milling machine. Um, here's a picture of a strap clamp. Uh, this is kind of zoomed in picture of this piece here, and it um, this is what's actually pulled pulling down and clamping into place, and it's hooked onto this piece of metal. Um, strap clamps themselves can be used to actually hold the piece down, but again, that's confining where you can mill and where you can cut because the clamp might get in the way. Now, another jig or sorry fixture, I guess, would be the V block. And the V-block is used for holding um, cylindrical objects because you can slide them down into this V, um, screw this pin into place, and then they won't turn and they won't slide side to side. So it's really helpful for when you want to mill into it or when you want to use the drill. So here's an example of the V-block. You can see it's, it's clamping down this piece of copper, and that allows the mill to go straight down through it without the copper sliding side to side. Some more advanced fixtures, this is actually what we have in the milling room. We have a pneumatic vise, so we can trigger a button, we can actually write code so that it automatically will clamp, and with air pressure, this piece comes out and it clamps the corner of this, and then it will clamp it into place. But again, you don't have access to the outsides, um, but it's all done automatically with the pneumatic vise, versus a hand vise, you get a hand crank into place. Uh, this last one is pretty sweet, actually. This is uh, got some rubber stoppers in here to cover up the holes, but the rubber stoppers are removed underneath this piece, and it's like a vacuum, and it just sucks the piece into place and holds it down. And as long as you don't, you're not cutting too fast, it'll hold it in place, and it won't cause it to slip. Um, but it's just another technique, another um, fixture type thing to hold something into place. So you would possibly have some size limitations if you have a piece that's too big that uh, doesn't fit onto this place, uh, but there are no base obstructions, um, or at least a lot fewer base obstructions than some of the other fixtures. So that's one advantage of the vacuum. Um, vent, it's called a venture system, and that's it.